hello welcome back this is a reading for the fire element fire and fire science considering that we are a whole of the four elements I suggest you to check out also the other three elements that are already out which of course are hair water and earth this reading is for July 5th to the 14th bridging to very interesting eclipses a total eclipse in Cancer, solar, total solar eclipse in Cancer, and that was on the 2nd, July 2nd, and the second eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse on the 16th in Capricorn. We go into the conjunction of Saturn and Pluto in 2020, January 2020. These eclipses are sealing the end of a long cycle and there are advices and requirements to step into the new phase with a, a very fruitful approach fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius July 5th to the 15 I said 14 before I know but we'll consider 15 because we are at the end of July 5th here is 1006 anyway I remind that this is a reading with a kind of time span but if you are gonna find this reading anytime in time and space <laughs> anytime any space it's it's gonna be the message you need to hear if this reading is, if this reading resonates with you as a fire sign or with you because you have fire in your birth chart like personal planets or rising in a fire sign or Venus or the moon in a fire element sign so maybe this reading can be useful if it resonates with you take it and use it if it doesn't just wasn't yours. I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle deck from Colette Paron Reed. Fire element, fire. We got an earthquake on July 4th. Our Stromboli's volcano eruption eruption in on July 3rd. Lot of fire moving, revolving while the effect of this watery eclipse is rising the tide. Territory first out on the board for fire signs and element fire Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Freedom is yours, 
Horse Spirit number 33, a master number. Number 3, it's a spiritual number for ex by excellence, reminding us the triangle, the union between two poles with spirit. For spirit, freedom is yours. It's pointing that your attention is bringing the attention on releasing attachment to past situations. attachment to the past in general in this life in other lives in parallel dimensions too it's a karmic call for release we are going toward moving toward a conjunction between Saturn the patriarch and Pluto Saturn, God of Time, Kronos, in his dualistic kingdom of time and space, the era now, and Pluto, the governor, governor of death and rebirth, new cycles starting, who, who were and Hoover during the ages we are aligning with these changes by leaving the past behind then we have Bobcat Bobcat spirit life is a mystery number eight life is a mystery number eight number which is usually vibrating prosperity but also it reminds us of the duality itself of our true self and our mirror the number the number eight which is the infinite circle of death and rebirth which is as above and so below as within and so without all of these in the number eight vibrating a message of mindfulness life is a mystery be ready to get surprised be ready for the unexpected but you need to make space for the mystery to unfold or to reveal itself to you by liberating yourself from the illusion of the past this is a kind of message which is dominant in the four elements readings this month. This card, freedom is yours, in this form, so properly this very card, the horse spirit, it came out also for water science. fire and water as above so below 
fire and water which are which are so close being opposite which are so close in this moment we can see fire and water also thinking to the volcano erupting also the planet earth and earth as element is calling for fire and water to come to harmony Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Number 33, breaking down to a 6, which is vibrational. Vibrationally, the number of balance between material and spiritual. So again, as above, so below. And then we have a number 8 over here with Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Take the lead, stag spirit, be proactive, number 58, which is 13, as a vibration. Take the lead, 13, like the 13th chakra, which is the divine masculine chakra. So, get a bold approach, take the lead. You cannot control life. Life is a mystery. You need to release yourself to the power of life, which is beyond you. But at the same time, you need to take the lead of your own life by deciding and choosing to leave the past behind and move forward toward the next cycle and be ready. For the moment, the conjunction will be complete. Take the lead, number 58, 13, breaking down to a 4. It calls for laying the foundations, building, sorry, my throat chakra. <clears throat> building stability let's clarify horse spirit freedom is yours number 33 we have 66 to clarify the 33 which is doubling is force it makes this 33 double 66 white raven spirit trust in the magic the right card in the right place in the right time take the lead trust in the magic Every, anything can happen pop cut spirit life is a mystery trust in the magic six six and we have a six year with 33 breaking down to a 6 if I can make this and then 66 breaking down to 12 and then 3 again so we have 666 which can scare someone but what does it mean? it's reinforcing the message of bringing balance between the material and the spiritual balancing two worlds the world above and the world below the world which is in your vision and the world which is the manifestation of it the world which is made of vibration, pure frequency, and the mother that belongs to it, that comes out from it, that it's generate from it. So, 33 plus 3 is 333, and 33 plus 66 
we can have a 666. It's the perspective changing. Leaving the past behind puts you in a perspective which is a direct contact with your master self, with your higher self. I rather prefer call it master self because as master self it, al it aligns, it aligns with the master plan, it's always perfectly connected with the whole harmony and balance of the universe and beyond the universe on all the levels of all the universes and then 66 white raven spirit trust in the magic I wanna read this card just to clarify which is the connection and the numerical connection mostly there is a lot of misunderstanding about number six and I wanna I know what says what's written in the Bible for example but I think everything has a deeper level of understanding and meaning so I don't want to initiate a religious speech over here, absolutely not. I mean, I believe in God, I believe in spirit, and I have my master. But this is something personal. I'm giving you the energies, the energetic keys to go through this passage little easier a little more fluidly white raven spirit number 66 says nothing in the universe is random for the intricate web of co-creation waves waves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Nothing in the universe is random. There is no coincidence. For, for the intricate web of co-creation, we have, I suppose, sorry about my pronunciation, together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. The intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events. Coincidences have meaning and white raven spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to synchronicities and you, I think, everybody listening to this right now I believe noticed a very kind of increasing level of synchronicities in their lives not just about found finding uh, on your uh, clock the hours symmetrical or mirroring hours or repeating sequences of numbers but I think also about telepathic stuff thinking people and they show up Thinking people and they call. Thinking something and seeing it right after. We have on a level, on a certain level, a uh, increased and increased ability to release. And when we release, we create the space for things to manifest. On the other side, we have still this push of attachment, of, be atta of being attached on that frequencies of lack, which are which belong to the past, and all which is connected to the past, because the past is lacking. There is not, I mean, it's past. 
So that's why prosperity, this number eight, is at the center of these cards. Horse, spirit, bobcat in the middle, and, and the stag spirit take the lead. But at the center there is the number eight, which is infinite number. And is the present number, is the here and now number, is the Saturnine number. So, White Raven, trust in the magic. Pay attention to these synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. Even the winds dance in a pattern, even the eclipses, they happen in a pattern. Everything in the universe follow, follows a pattern. And everything participates in the magic of Spirit's plan for whole. Align with the highest good and intentions. Align with the highest good and intentions. And you will come to see that White Raven is guiding you. And Halley to an ally to you and a messenger from spirit align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the high can't always see and the mind can't always conceive life is a mystery and it will be a mystery because that's the nature is the essence of life. It's up to us to accept the mystery, to be a mystery for ourselves too, to embrace the vib mysterious, mysterious vibration of being part of this harmonious whole, whole. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Fire signs, now is the time to trust in the magic of the world. You could have been deceived and disappointed but you as a fire sign take the lead and release the past because the past doesn't exist anymore is a frequency of lack doesn't bring you the popcat spirit doesn't bring you the prosperity in the present moment and once you release you are able to recognize the magic of life now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is, that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic and you will see the end of great spirit arranging things in your favor. The question is, are you being distracted by the illusion of a chaotic universe. Deep in your heart you know the world is full of magic and White Raven has appeared to remind you that. The ways of the world can cause spiritual amnesia. Stay awake and alert. For spirit wants you to enjoy the miracles all around you wants you to bring your attention there, to recognize them, to see them, but you cannot, if you're looking back, if you're looking back, you cannot see what's right in front of you, of course. Be peace, dove spirit, clarifying bobcat spirit, we have dove, 
the dove spirit. Be peace. Trust in the harmonious conciliation of conflicts, harmonious conciliation of opposites. It's a very, very important time to be peace. Number 21, which breaks down to a tree again. To be peace. Trust in magic. Be peace. Cards are falling down all over the place from my hands. It's this is indeed a tower moment, a tower kind of tower passage, right of passage. We are bridging two very important eclipses. We are in a cosmic moment where five planets are retrograde. We can say just Mars and Venus are direct right now. That's why it's important to find the quiet spot of peace in the chaotic revolving of things, in the dance of things which repeats itself in patterns. Find the quiet spot where you don't have conflict between opposing forces, opposing concepts, but every conceptual opposition is reconciled for the common goal of spirit the common goal of serving the Spirit's plan, Great Spirit's plan. It again, Ground Dog Spirit clarifying Stag Spirit. Ground Dog, which is number 31, breaking down to a four, clarifying stag spirit, number eight, 58, breaking down to a four again. Time to let go. Freedom is yours. Life is a mystery, Bobcat spirit. Take the lead, stag spirit, by trusting in magic, in the magic un magical unfolding of miracles around you. Be peace, be confident. Three, 66, breaking down through a tree. 21 breaking down to a tree and then we have ground dog spirit last out time to let go breaking down to a four about laying foundation again foundations in the present I say it again I say this again and again and over and over again because this is the time to do it it's now please leave the past behind don't compare whatever present you're living right now whatever it is don't compare neither in good nor in evil don't compare with the past just acknowledge that past means lack then you can keep in your heart the good memories the good experience experiences the good lessons and be grateful and honor that Hon honor who did you good and honor who did you bad because 
que even who did you bad gave you the opportunity to learn, to grow, to stand up for yourself. Sometimes bad experiences they are hard lessons full of pain and vibrationally uncomfortable as the least but from a perspective of gratitude from a perspective which is in the present in the here and now work with Saturn work in the here and now kingdom in the present releasing you say thank you also to those negatives negative experiences because they made you the person you are today and then squirrel spirit believe in yourself 57 breaking down to a 12 which is a 3 again so on this column we have 33 66 and 57 so breaking down to a 6 to a 3 and to a 3 again Spirit has a plan. On the central column we have hate, bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. 21, which is a tree, be peace, dove spirit. And then 8 again, 35, koala spirit, spirit has a plan, trust, the master plan. Trust that spirit has a plan. There is a reason why every, anything happens. No coincidences. Not in your life. Not even in the life of an ant or a mosquito. There are no coincidences for anybody. And again, 35, spirit has a plan. As above, so below, breaking down to a 8, 35, breaking down to a 8. It's doubling the 4, the number 4. Time to let go, two times. Take the lead, two times, 4. And again, 4. times four so foundations on two levels above and below you get these heat number koala spirit gods or spirits blueprint and bobcat spirit life is a mystery On my last column here, I have a tree again, 30. Grasshopper spirit, to take the leap of fate. Very similar also these uh, cards out, very similar also to the air sign reading, hair element reading. This necessity, this call, it's a urge to take the leap of faith, believing in yourself. Three. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Fifty-seven. Thirty. Take the leap of faith. Grasshopper spirit. It's crowned. You see, he has a crown. Because 
grasshopper represents our heart, the chakra of our heart, which has a lower part called the diaphragm, where the negative emotions, the earthly negative vibration, low vibrational emotions are stored, and the upper part, which is over here, to the crown of our heart, called the thymus. The positive emotions, they rise up toward the crown, but the negative ones, we use to store them over here, because they are cold, they are heavy. They don't rise up like the warm currents, like the warm hair. To take the leap means a correct, a proper healing of our chakra of the heart, complete, on its three levels. Three, thirty, three levels of healing this chakra. This is highly recommended. You can work on your diaphragm, also physically putting something warm on it. It's going to help you and focus while doing that on rele releasing, releasing, melting. Like the sun melts the snow, the negative emotions, all the blocks and obstacles on our path. There are keeping us to take the leap of faith to make the quantum jump, the quantum leap. Those emotions will melt like snow under the sun, and they will come back water from fire because they burn inside, they will come back water, go back to the transformational cycle, coming back to fertilize the element earth, water again, back a part of the cycle, recycling energy in a positive, functional, constructive way creational approach so as number three we have the white raven trust and magic believe in yourself 57 be peace Trust in magic, be peace, believe in yourself, take a leap of faith and heal your heart, fire signs, calm down your fiery approach and use the passion you have for creation and creativity as a boost to let go squirrel spirit time to let go number four the foundation letting go let go and let spirit cause spirit if you do not resist will align you too spirit can align planets cosmos universes do you think it cannot align you if you stop to put yourself in the middle of spirit's work and then foundations take the lead but take the lead when you 
had already let go. And then, freedom is yours. Freedom is yours, number six. And true freedom, through that freedom you achieved by releasing what was lacking. The, you filled and fulfilled all the holes in your heart. Then, you're doubling the foundations to an eight, from four to eight. You are really re realizing the sentence you're making harmony as above so below you're living the mirror with mindfulness as within so without dear fire signs all the four elements they got practically very very similar messages with different cards because every door has is key to be unlocked but mostly we are for the four elements talking about the same energetic key focus on the present release the past make peace be at peace with the past leave it forgive it don't look back don't be tempted because if you look back you cannot sit right in front of you the magic happening right in front of your eyes I wish you a very good night here or good morning and afternoon wherever you are if you like subscribe like share comment let me know you dare someone you know on a side you know it's not really a matter of viewers or subscribers you know I'm throwing out a message and I don't really need recognition you know I got mine I mean I'm working with spirit and if there will be anyone passing by this video well it would be interesting to catch up nothing happens for a coincidence everything has a meaning everything is synchronicity 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 is the present is the kingdom of Saturn be mindful be eternal be with spirit be peace bye